All right, so day three of this Lego table build. Uh, right now, I'm just taking some more walnut and uh, getting everything surfaced and squared on all four sides. I ran it through the joiner first and now the planer, and then I'm gonna take it to the state table saw, get everything ripped down to its uh, final size, and then uh, go to the cross-cut sled, square up one side, and then uh, cut the other side down to its final dimension. And I'm gonna use that for the toy wells. Um, that are going to be on either end of the Lego table. There's going to be two little boxes on either end of the of the table to hold your your Legos. So after running the each end of of the walnut through the cross, cross cut sled to get it square, I then use this stop block to cut everything down to its final dimension to get everything uh, exactly uh, the length it should be. And in order to keep all the parts uh, separate and keep me from getting confused as to which which part goes where I used some uh, blue painters tape and labeled each each piece so I would know exactly what uh, everything was intended for and I said in a previous video that I wanted to use all hidden fasteners so you wouldn't be able to see anything but here um, I decided that I was gonna have to use pocket holes uh, pocket screws to attach the toy wells inside the uh, Lego table because the Lego table had already been assembled and I wasn't gonna be able to use dowels to uh, insert the toy wells uh, inside the uh, already assembled table so uh, I decided to go with pocket hole or pocket screws to attach the toy wells in and they'll be strategically placed so you won't be able to see where the screws are to assemble the two toy well boxes I uh, first glued the joints together and then I used these inch and a quarter pocket screws to go ahead and secure it up so I could continue working and not have to wait for the glue to dry. The pocket screws are on the bottom of the toy well boxes and they will be out of sight uh, once the entire table is assembled. Once the boxes were partially assembled, I used my random orbital sander to sand the inside of the boxes because once it was all put together, it would be difficult to get in there to sand it. After getting those hard to reach places with the anti-grit sandpaper, then I began installing the toy wells on either end of the Lego table. I used pocket hole screws to screw those in place. So now the two toy wells are uh, secured in place along with two cross members uh, in the Lego table to help support the um, the tabletop once it's inserted. If you look close, you might notice that the two cross members in the center are uh, installed a little bit lower than the top of the frame, and that's so when I put the tabletop in, the tabletop will be flush with the uh, framework. So then I installed little nailing strips in between all the squares to provide some extra structural support uh, for the tabletop. So I, I glued those first and then I used some 18 gauge brad nails to secure those in place as the glue dries. Once the nailing strips are glued and secured into place, then I can test fit the uh, tabletop and just to make sure everything's fitting as it should, I'm using a uh, uh, half inch MDF particle board for the tabletop. And fortunately, the tabletop fit uh, inside the uh, table frame uh, just perfectly, so everything is flush with the top, uh, no big gaps or anything like that, so it's all looking good. Here's a quick peek of the table with the peel and stick Lego base that's gonna be stuck to the top of the table. I'm gonna have to get some more of those to be able to finish out the entire surface, but it'll have the gray Lego bases over the entire surface. And once that's done, I'll trim out the tops with the uh, strips that you see laying across there um, and that will wrap this thing up.